In today's episode of Peter Does a Lot of Stuff Off Camera, these are the eyes. Evie, actually not very tall, 12 inches. Pikachu over there, one foot, four inches sort of thing. As much as carrot manufacturers don't want you to think this, four inches does make a pretty big difference. Most people grew up with the Pokemon anime, and in that the sizes of the characters are kind of proportional and make sense, and Eevee's about the same size as Pikachu, purposely ignoring that. Now why are we going off the Pokedex sizes instead of the actual anime? Because I'm better than the anime. They got things wrong, I'm doing it right. A foot? Not very tall. See below your ankles for more details. But I don't have a 3D model to look at this time, because I guess apparently people don't like Eevee. I guess she's a really unpopular Pokemon, so nobody made a 3D model of her on the website I normally use, and so we're just gonna use flat images. That's probably good. Let's put the fur on. We're going for a sitting pose today, and we're also doing happy open mouth Eevee because I think that would make it more challenging. We, we want to add as many details to this as we can. And last time I did this, people were complaining about all the tinfoil sounds, how they're a little bit loud. So for all the people who really like the tinfoil sounds, I'm actually gonna make a little montage. And then all the people who don't like it, they can just skip that. Or you guys can cover your ears until all the tinfoil sounds are gone, and I'll just yell to you when, when I'm all done doing the tinfoil stuff. Sometimes I think eyeballing it's gonna be better anyway, unless we were making like a real thing. A thing that really exists. I'm so sorry to all the, the fellas out there whose parents have told them their whole life that Eevee really does exist and that you had to find out this way. Someday, when I've got millions and millions of subscribers, I'm gonna fight that Mario guy again. I'm gonna buy a real, like real Pokemon to model for these videos. Oh, we're in the timeline where I said Eevee's fake. Evie's fake. That's like half my jokes I can't do now. Yeah, I need a different script. We can postpone it a bit. Like Wednesday or something, probably. Okay, well, Spielberg can go and eat at a Jurassic Park for all I care. I need it. Gosh. I hate working with George Lucas. He takes so long to get me my scripts. I don't know how much fat to put on this stomach. I forgot to look up Evie weight before I did this. Evie eating habits. She eats a mostly anabolic diet to make the most of her vigorous workouts. She has a subscription at Anytime Fitness. This makes Pikachu jealous as he has a crippling addiction to alcohol and a constant beer gut. Here's one thing that's going to be weird too. All this fur, this tuft of, of mane and whatnot, all of this stuff, the stuff that'll go here, the stuff that'll be made out of this, I think you get what I'm saying. You know, this stuff is not going to be put on until after it's all cooked and baked and everything. So before we put the fur on, she's just gonna look weird. Or he, I don't know. Everyone was so confident that like 90% of Eevees are, are, are male, citing like, oh, well, if they have uh, this kind of tail or, or something, or maybe it's the, the hair on the top of the head. Her name is Eevee. That can only be a girl. Gosh, it's like, it's like nobody, it's like you guys play so much Pokemon and then you've never played real life. And then you just come across as like big idiots. And I'm sticking with her. This is a her. The one I'm making, it's a her. Even if it happens to have like the hair that officially makes it a boy, it's a her. This one's a her. I made it, I can decide. It's my video, it's my internet, it's you're my audience. And it's even my tinfoil. I bought this from, from Meyer. If I do a video where you guys buy me the tinfoil, then maybe you can decide what gender it is. From the back, probably doesn't have quite as much back to her. Evie got some back. That song, Baby Got Back. Does your, does, does anyone's baby not have a back? I mean, I know that there's like 1% of people who were born without backs, but just what a lame thing to call your song is if that's impressive at all. I'm, no, I might not be a baby anymore, but I went to the store the other day and then I got back. I returned. It's not that impressive. Anyone can do it. Now the head, it's actually a very similar size and shape to the Pikachu head. Sorry about the sound again. Whoopsies, I don't care. It's alive, it's moving, I can't stop it. Now I got something here. I got something very exciting to at least one person, me, and that is this baby right here, the Sculpty Tools Clay Conditioning Machine. 
conditioner not included. And this thing will allow me to... I mean, it did flatten it. That's awesome. Wow, that's, that's awesome. It's nice because I get a lot of time to think doing these projects. If I didn't have to talk to a camera to keep you guys, to keep you guys company, because your guest's in my home for the moment, then I would just probably be putting on like a podcast or some music. Not really just sitting and thinking and using it as a, t a time of reflection. And part of that's because I grew up in an internet world where shower thoughts are seen as a bad thing. Everyone's like, you're a thought. That was some promiscuous stuff that I didn't want to get involved in. Flesh head. Now while we've got it like this, we gotta make the hole for the mouth. Meh. Spit it out, spit it out. What do you have? Spit it out. Open. This is weird. Orifices, you know? Okay kiddos, Peter's gonna go into artsy mode. He's gonna get real quiet now and no funny commentary. Super goody, funny, funny, haha, -ha, YouTube no more. -y. It has actually turned out pretty good. For the most part, we needed it to be fairly smooth. It doesn't really matter how weird and chunky it is in the back. It's, a, it's an Eevee skull, all right. Not bad, and it'll go something like that. Awesome. You can do a fang for like an anime. Uh, version of, of an Eevee or something, but in a real one, I think that makes it a little too devious, and I'm not about that. Because I'm making her and I can decide whatever, she's like very wholesome, wouldn't, wouldn't be a vampire. Wouldn't eat anything. So we do have one other thing to do here, and that's the tail. As you can see, Eevee's tail is pretty massive, it's like the size of her entire body. So there's gonna be a ton of tinfoil involved, and I thought a lot of you people who didn't like the tinfoil sounds would enjoy just another 10 minutes of... Ow, did I cut myself? Whoa. I just gave myself a metal sliver. A little piece of metal is now inside my finger, and I'm... Uh, be right back, I gotta get a tetanus shot. See that dude right there? See that? See that right there? That was in my finger. That is crazy. That's insane. So glad I started recording for that. His content is out of this world. You guys come here for Evie, and you get the funniest thing that's ever happened to anyone. Slideshow has been stuck on her for, for quite a while now. Now for the more pleasant part of making the tail for you guys will be just putting the flesh on. And what I'm gonna do is uh, not show you guys any of it, and I'm just gonna skip. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. All right, the head and the body are done. If you really wanna see what they look like, refer to before they were cooked, it's exactly the same. It's been a few weeks. Uh, just kidding, actually, it's the same day. But I changed my clothes and, and did my hair a little different, and trimmed my face a little bit to try to trick you guys so that there would be like a good two or three seconds where I, I really probably got one of you. So, I do want to draw our attention, however, to Lightning McQueen. We're gonna check out two little videos I made. I made a base for this thing a few days ago and I recorded the process. And normally I just play like a time lapse and show you guys all in post, but I figured we could watch. I actually turned it into a music video this time. I made it kind of a little bit artsy, a little bit nostalgic, kind of the time I grew up in the internet. I did a few uh, little, I'll, I'll be quiet, I'll let you guys watch, I'll be quiet. I thought I'd throw an image in here and there too. Just to kind of make it like a music video, you know. See what I did with the logo there, the adventure logo? That was kind of funny. Cause that's what the song's from. Yeah, that game. Okay, yeah, I put in some footage of it too. I thought I, I thought it kind of fit in well with the music and everything. Put some poop on it, yeah. It's a great song, honestly. It's uh, 
reminiscent of like some, you know, early 2000s stuff. I don't remember why I put those images. I think it just kind of fit. Yeah, why does he remind you of Parsley? That's... That didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Oh, yeah. Well, then I'll show you the finished version here. Just this. It's just resin and wood and painted. It's kind of like a Pokeball, not exactly. Because uh, I didn't want to have to do a circle. I guess, like, looking back, I could have used a Pokemon song or something, but that was... There's not a whole lot of, like, lyrics songs that I trust won't get copyright struck, so I went with something from Sonic, because they're normally pretty good about that stuff. And, you know, Amy music videos are kind of... kind of hip. Um, won't have to drill any holes in it or anything, because, you know, she's sit. She's not going to fall over, obviously. Now, the next step in the process, right after we do the ears, is going to be putting the fur on, and I got all this. We're just going to cover this whole thing in fur and cover the ears in fur and whatnot. And there were a few people in the last video who were a little upset that I didn't show the full fur cutting process, like time lapsed, because they find it really satisfying. And, and sometimes I put it on so the kids will fall asleep and stuff like that. So I do have a video here, and this is just the time lapse of me cutting the fur. So check this one out. So, yeah. You just watch me cut lawn for a minute. There's just nothing happening in the video. It's just me cutting fur. And it's so it's so quick, so I thought, I'll actually put some images of Evie instead of going with Amy this time. Even though it's like an Eggman song. I could have put, put pictures of Eggman. But the video's not about Eggman. But before we get into the fur, we gotta do the ears. But to do the ears, I gotta see how it's gonna look on the head. And to do that, I gotta put the head on the body. And to do that, I need to get a drill. This is the reverse chronological order of things that are about to take place. That's what I'm gonna have. Not that, the other, the other one. I mean, maybe, how do I know, but you know. Look at this, like, <laughs> just looks like a baby. A oh, baby. Ah! This is my magic horn from Pokemon. It's an accessory for the thing. Ears. We're gonna use this foam to make the ears. Some of you might recognize this stuff from pillows or mattresses. Some of you might recognize this stuff from pillows and mattresses. Hello? And cardboard and two shish kebab skewers. You might recognize these from barbecues. I don't think I've said that one before. Yeah, I think it looks about right. So, what we're gonna do, you suck my finger because I have a slight wound. Hot glue this to this. I've been getting pretty good at not burning myself with hot glue. And you know, normally right now I'd burn myself for a joke. I don't even want to do that. How dare you take pleasure in that? What does Evie say? Pika, ah shoot. So normally at this time I would cut to some like fast forwarded footage of me putting the fur on and getting through the boring processes that really don't have much to say during. And I did in fact do that in the original take of this video, but while rendering it, I needed to make room on my hard drive for the render. So I deleted the fast forwarded footage to render the video, which of course is an oxymoron or whatever they call it in the industry, and yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's just very complex. But anyway, I don't have the footage, so I've just recreated it here, and hopefully this suffices just fine. Just no, I put a lot of a lot of effort in, and I did my best. And despite doing my absolute best, it ended up turning out. Bam! Here it is. It looks great. I'm just gonna decide what you guys think. It's objective. So, the only two things we have left: the eyes. And once again, the eyes are as good as they're gonna be, and the nose. Tiny, very tiny nose. If you wanna know the process for making the nose, here's a short video. So, Evie, eye measurements, very important. I will do the nose first, actually. Nose measurements, very important. I think the nose should be right about here, actually. Forget the measurements. Okay, that's probably good. Does it look good on camera? I think so. 
So tape measure thinks something like this. We're going for it. Howdy. Yeah, it's just like casually exactly how it should be. It's kind of like a real living thing now that's in my house now. It's like beyond real. If, if there was a Beyond Meat version of Pokemon, this is it. I mean, eh? Eh? Mm. Or like that, right? I honestly, like what more does anyone, what more could anyone want from me? I think I've just found the solution to the dislike button being gone on YouTube, and that is literally make a video that's not dislikable. It is impossible to objectively look at this and deny that I've just manufactured a real Eevee that really exists now. And now, I didn't even really think ahead much, but I'm going to have to feed and water it and take it for walks. And this is totally acceptable. I like Pikachu, don't get me wrong. I think he turned out good, but he just hasn't moved much. Maybe the mane, you know, it's if it was actual big tufts of fur, but that's really hard to do. Now, now the big, big finishing touch. Get our stand here. Just pick it up. Set it on. Wanna take a pee pee? Look at that. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. I have one, you don't. Yeah, but for real though, I think I'm ready. I think all of my training has finally got me to the point where I, I can I can replicate anything perfectly. And I'm finally I'm gonna manufacture myself a sun. And maybe like mm, a couple million dollars. Oh, I could manufacture a new Sonic game. Or good movies. So those don't seem to exist much anymore. You know, I'm kind of like, the ability to make everything perfectly is kind of making everything that I look forward to in life seem frivolous. I think I'll make a wife. <laughs>